a little cool, I think. So, to nerd out on the frog skin camo a little bit, first camo adopted by the U.S. military was this camo, actually. Yeah. Korea, right? No, it was in, used in uh, the Pacific Theater of World okay, War II. Okay, yeah, you're right. Unbox these things. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna unbox these new marsupials. I'm excited. This will be my first. This is my first one, and then we got two in here that Isaac or Luke and Ethan both bought. So. Yes. So there's three bino harnesses. There's some cool colors. All the new color. Yeah, we bought new colors. Yeah. Disclaimer. We did not get any discount or no, get paid or we don't, anything for this. We don't we get any. Bought. Yeah, we don't have any products that we get a discount on at the moment or free stuff. We just like these a lot because yeah. Isaac says they're really good. So we're all gonna start using them. But his, uh, he's been using it for years and all his videos that feature yeah, we him. Have, we have countless videos of me wearing it, yep. countless videos of Dylan wearing it, yep. Matt wearing it, Jay wearing it. Everybody's wearing these, basically. So I'm going to open this one first. Yeah, give me that knife and I'll kind of, we'll both pull our stuff out. I'm going to start pulling stuff out. That's what this knife is very sharp. He yeah, likes to cut himself on those. Places yeah, really I, nice. I cut myself yesterday moving furniture in my house, but pinky twice. Yeah, cut it in two that. different places. They got this stuff packed in. So here's your packing list if you want to. I'll read mine off if you want to read theirs off. So, officially in my box here, I bought the marsupial zippered pouch. Small. Small. The range finder, range finder pouch. Small. Hand warmer muff and the enclosed binocular pack. And the total cost was $322 for that whole system. Um, the zipper pouch, the range finder pouch, and the binocular pack are all in the new frog skin camo, which I'm pretty excited about because I like retro stuff. And then my muff is Ranger Green because they didn't have the muff in yes. frog skin, but it'll look cool, I think. So to nerd out on the frog skin camo a little bit, first camo adopted by the U.S. military was this camo, actually. Yeah. Korea, right? No, it was in, used in uh, the Pacific Theater of World okay, War II. Okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. So for all the vets out there, it's some trivia. Right, I'm going to open this one before we go over anything. This is Luke and Ethan, both of their stuff. So we have a Coyote Brown zippered pouch, small. A Coyote Brown Range Finder pouch, small, and a closed binocular pack, which is Coyote Brown. So he's got a full Coyote Brown setup, and then we have a full setup in the Frog Skin Arid camo. So that's the tropical. This is the arid. So they're already set up for you. So yeah, cool. I didn't have to do anything. So that's the Coyote Brown, and this is the Frog Skin Arid, which is pretty cool. And these are. What pouches are these? These are the medium pouches. So here's the medium too. Mine is a medium. yes, medium. So they're all medium. Yep. Kind of ready to go. Yeah, they're all ready to go. Straps are all inside. They've come all set up, so that's pretty cool. So they they have the exact same setup as me, except for their pouches are the small pouch. Mine was the large pouch. I think that's because it, that was the only one offered in this camo. But everything else appears to be the same. All this is US made. What's your camo? Mine is just regular multicam. Multicam. Yeah. Multicam, frog skin arid, frog skin tropical, and coyote brown. And the oh, and Ranger Green. Feel has a Ranger Green muff, and I have a multi pan. Multicam muff. So you ever want to know what a thousand dollars worth of bino, or bino harnesses look like? This one is pretty steep. Um, there definitely is some cost involved to have this system, but this is a buy once, have forever type thing. I don't see myself um, adding to this or at least stop using it. I mean, this is going to be what it is for a long time. I got this camo, the more, uh, I should say, brighter stick out camo, because I do a lot of turkey hunting. Turkey hunting is my thing, so I'll be using this a lot for turkey hunting. So I wanted something that was kind of broken up. Probably won't need the muff for turkey hunting. Uh, the muff also connects to the bottom here too. So you can make one full 
system out of this. Yeah, these are the medium size binocular harness. Uh, we decided to get the medium because it'll kind of fit everything that we need to fit. These are 10 by 42s. These are Vortex Crossfire HDs. So kind of a normal binocular that everybody uses. They fit in there pretty well. Uh, they would fit, it would fit into a small pouch, but that kind of limits you in the future if you get a new pair of binoculars or if you get a 12 power or one with the bigger objective lens. So the medium fit pretty well. They actually stay in there pretty well. They don't fall out, but it does give you a little bit of extra room. Plus when we're hunting out west, sometimes we have tripod adapters on these or you have lens caps. So a little Foam bit of extra scopes room. you can throw in some of this stuff. Yeah. That's another thing. When I'm wearing mine, sometimes I like to throw my phone in the back here just like this that way when you're glassing or it's raining or something you can keep your phone kind of out of the weather as well so that gives you a little bit of extra space to do that we have unlimited amounts of video of us wearing these yeah we'll definitely put some highlights in kill a lot of deer isaac's kill a lot of deer wearing these It was a heck of a time getting over here. He's kind of a, a smaller bear for sure, but I am so pumped. I'll be able to splice in some of the velvet pictures and video. He had a lot more and he broke it off before he showed back up here. Hey, you get to see it two times in, in two days, Kendall. That's it. These are your new binoculars. Yep. Little binoculars. There it is. New marsupial pack. Yes. Yeah, these are pretty cool. I like these. <clears throat> yeah, that's it. New colors. You'll be seeing a ton of these in the videos this year. I'll be wearing this for every hunt I'm on. Yeah, I guess we could talk about the muff a little bit. So it comes with its own straps which I think those are inside there. So you can use it as a standalone hand muff right around your waist, or you can attach it to the bottom of your binocular harness. So when you're hunting like in the Alpine and out west and stuff, you probably don't want to be carrying this around all the time. But out here in Ohio in the Midwest, it's perfect just to keep on just like that. I wore it all late season. It's extremely warm. Keeps you uh, keeps your hands warm. Keeps you hunting. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. We'll be doing a lot more of these product reviews and unboxing. Uh, I'm buying a whole bunch of Western stuff to use on our spring bear hunt, so we'll we will be definitely some doing that. some unboxing and some reviews. We'll be able to review the stuff Isaac used last year for the last two years out West uh, that I buy, so he'll be able to give some insight on it when we un unbox it. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. Um, good luck this upcoming spring. It's shed hunt season now, so everyone should be out looking for antlers and yeah, it's February 15th. Stuff of that nature. So thank you. This year, that works great for bow hunting. Yeah, I keep it I keep it on a lane smart just to keep it attached. So if I'm ranging something, I can just drop it. I don't even have to worry about it. across the way. I'm probably going to tell him to stop. This is just a cool country. But I'll show you some video. Getting it broken down and packed out. So fun. Awesome. Yeah, I like to do the video. He probably will. I mean, his left side is nice, and he broke the beam on his left side, too. <laughs>